how are ya? Noxus Flack here, and welcome to another Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition single player campaign playthrough. We are playing the Genghis Khan campaign, and we are on the final level, level 6, Pax Mongolica. I hope I pronounced that right, and if you think I've pronounced it wrong, tell me in the comments below how to correctly pronounce it. Let's see if you can figure that one out. Before we start this final mission, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to see more Age of Empires 2. Next will be the Arabic campaign with Salah Hadid, which is how I was told to pronounce it in the movie Kingdom of Heaven. So, without further ado, let's begin. Only one power stands in our way. France and the kingdoms beyond are beaten from decades of crusades. If we break Eastern Europe, then it is likely that all of Western Europe will surrender. But to break the East, we must defeat Hungary. Hungary possesses the most formidable cavalry in all of Europe. They have not only the strength of European armor, but their horses are cousins to our own, having drifted in from across the Russian steppes. The Saho River that separates us from the army of Hungary is frozen, so we will be unable to deploy boats. Instead, the battle will be won or lost over who controls the bridge. Sobotai is coming with reinforcements. If we can survive the charge of the Hungarian knights until Sobotai arrives, then we can hope to take the bridge. Much rests on this simple bridge. If we capture the Saho crossing, we capture Hungary. If Hungary falls, so falls Europe. With Europe and Asia under Mongol control, our conquest of the world will be complete and final. Sounds pretty cool, but no mention of Genghis Khan. I feel like he's dead. I feel like they're not mentioning it. But, uh, pretty excited to hold this bridge. And it sounds like we're going to get attacked with, like, a huge force of cavalry at the beginning. But I'm not sure I really remember this level very well. Let's see. Oh yeah, I love that. Give me more of that throat singing. Defeat, destroy all Hungarian town centers and castles. Survive until Sepatoi's reinforcements arrive. Cannot train any more saboteurs. So those should hide. Yes. So my uh, I can only do it 125. Oh, we must bad. hold okay. off the Hungarians until Subutai arrives. He will be here in 40 minutes. 40 minutes. All right, so we've got a whole bunch of defenses. Let's grab the sheep. He he will all get us you. close enough to an enemy building, Ooh, and we will give our lives for the cause. I love the attitude. All uh, right. Not super interested in what you're up to, except all fire. <laughs> oh, I missed, and I deserve what's coming. More food, please. Uh, yeah, keep up the exploring. Looks like a pretty simple map with that bridge down here being what we have to uh, guard. Interesting that they gave us palisade and barricade defenses. That's kind of new. Seems they gave us a lot of stone. I think they're expecting me to wall off. All right, come over here. Let's see what's over there. Timu, I'm I'm gonna. So we're actually in the Imperial Age. So we're going to. Do that. You will assist, because this is going to need to be like a speed build. It is cool that we're already in the Imperial Age. That saves us a whole lot of grief. Let's get a whole bunch of people on food production. And 
then at 36 minutes, I get uh, reinforcements. Hopefully, good reinforcements, right? Start a chopping operation. So that's more stone. Oh, it's a ton of stone. Man, they're expecting a serious uh, situation for stone. What's this over here? The remains of a Christian town. Oh, man. I, a little brutal. Benefits to exploring over here, not sure. Alright, let's get uh, a little bit more than we need more than wood. Proud of you all. Alright, so all the texts that we get at a uh, Castle H, at Castle H have been researched, but not all of the text that we get afterwards, unfortunately. Chop. Charge! Love the, uh, love the accent. Okay, let's go here. Take a more defensive stance. Uh, blacksmith. Seems like a smart choice. Oh, look at that. That is epic. You're like the uh, the vanguard, aren't you? Oh, they put their tribuchet just in... Within, like, a uh, range of my castle. That was dumb. Back up, back up. Back up, back up. Stay behind the castle, let the castle do the work. Uh, let's get some gold production. Got a free worker. We need wood. Get over there. Right. So far, so good. So I'm gonna want 18 on food, 18 on wood, 10 on gold, and I think the six on stone right now is probably good enough. Uh, you are going to build me a church, and then you're going to chop wood. I just heard a sheep. Where is the sheep? Chop. Are more coming? Yeah, the castle put, putting the castle there was definitely the right choice. Subutai should be here in 30 minutes. I'm happy to hear it. Yes. Chop. Nope, that's a sheep. All right. One of the reasons we need this chopping is we are going to be moving on to uh, farms probably pretty soon. Uh, go over here, go over here, go over here, and then come back. Hello. And by pretty soon, I of course mean now. Uh, where do we want to put the farms? Definitely out of the way. How about over here? Alright, they're gonna do that, very good. Hello, monk, you are control group 2, and your job is to go here and, uh, heal our boys. Hello, come here. You back up the other mob. You guys are both control group too. Very cool. 
Reseed, very good. As always, when I build all these farms, I just feel so exposed. I wish I could just pause the game. Timo. Hello. Put two more there. Eleven food. Let's upgrade the health of our castles, which of course cost a whole bunch of wood. Not so sort of pumped about that. And then all of you. We need another castle. Oh, that's good stuff. Hello. 14 people Watch chopping you. isn't bad, but we, I want 18. Alright, we want this tech. It'll increase the damage we issue, or issue, do with our uh, towers and castle. There it is. It also increases range by one, which I'd say is pretty important. Hordings is going to bring our health all the way up. Very nice. Oh yeah, I accidentally clicked on the monks. That's, that's no good. Hello, you too. Uh, so that'll put 17 people on shop. Castles seem to be the right play. For sure. Alright, that's the magic 18 on chop. Yeah, some of them are weak, monks. Alright, let's get the food to 18. Right, 70 out of the 100 we can have. Cavalry archers have plus one normal, plus two pierce armor. Cavalry archers plus four. All right, so we're gonna do Parthenon tactics. I hope I pronounced that right. If not, you know, you can always tell me. Sixteen farmers, or seventeen, yeah, just need one more farmer to be at the magic eighteen I want to be at. Hello. Very cool. Then I want ten people mining. Gold, that guy is stuck. Very upset with you, blocking my, my dude. We want the heavy cavalry archer. We also need to get the elite Mangudai, however the heck you pronounce it. But until then, let's get some conscription so that all of our people are trained faster. I am interested in getting the infantry upgrades just in case I need to build an army of trash units. Which is always a possibility, you never really know until the time comes. Also, the Hussar is a very good trash unit. I mean, really, our gold production. I should be here in 20 minutes. Gold production is the only thing holding us back. Well, that's actually fine because we have plenty of stone. So. 
That's actually really annoying. I have a vague memory of trying to make a perfect wall in this level and it totally not working and I think I now see what happened. <clears throat> Alright, well there goes all my gold, but the heavy cavalry, ar cavalry archer is on the way. And then, uh, presumably they're gonna be led over here, so... Another castle over there. Alright, 8 nice. So that's 10 villagers on gold. And you will build me a university. Can you please? Can you please? There we go. Nice. If I had a higher pop cap, I'd feel much more comfortable about, uh, uh, build, like, filling this castle with 20 units, but 20 units is a lot, but uh, my pop cap is not a lot. Hello, I need a siege workshop. We are going to be building some speedy ram boys. Speaking of which, there is a really expensive old gold upgrade. I want this one. It'll increase cavalry and infantry attack, and we need it for the cavalry. All right, now mine this. Hello, University. So this will uh, make our siege weapons have plus one range, except the rams, but all of them cause 20% more damage and 40% more for Petards. You'll remember that. Ten of our pop is these Petards. It's always the gold. And let's get this sped up a bit by building our wood lumber camp a little closer. What's happening? Nothing. Nothing. I cost a bunch of food, but we were ready. Die. We're gonna need more food and more gold. We just spent all of it, so that makes sense. Ah, during that time, we can go. Twelve pikemen will fill two of the rams. What is going on here? Trebuchet that's actually at a decent range. Annoying, but at least it makes sense. Turn in the stone. Let's go over here and repair. Very good, run away very bravely. On this 675, come on! Yes, I heard you, Mr. Farman. What's the hold up? You guys are getting stuck? There we go. 
Now that I have that, I want to start getting some siege rams. Some sprinting siege rams. We're at 100 pop, we can only go 125. Rushing the uh, gold spending. Oh, this will actually give. I should be here in ten minutes. Oh, he'll probably give me units. Be late. What are you implying? Is he gonna be late? Also, things are not desperate at all. Like, let's be let's be cool here. Like things are going pretty pretty okay. Oh, my timing on that was. You are full. You are full now. Get in there. Get in there. Stop being confused. So I wanted to get to Pop Cat before Sabotai arrives. Ooh, we're one short on the ram. Oh, that's so frustrating. Alright. And then, uh. Should I attack before Sabotai arrives? That sounds pretty fun. Oh, no, I think I'm gonna. Alright, right, you're all controlled. Three. And then you guys, I want to combine with control group one. You have the speed upgrade, yeah, you do. Well done. What was no? Suicide boys. And they're uh, they're called saboteurs. I think they're slightly different than petards, actually. They will sprint in and destroy the. Because uh, you know, we have to destroy castles and town center, so like whatever the first castle or town center I see, I'm just gonna send them at that. Only the rams take out the towers. It's a lot of units, actually. Castle, alright, so all of you just go nuts. Trash units. I think I've actually taken care of the uh, scary guys. All right, so that was only enough to almost destroy the castle, which is a little disappointing. All right, so you 
guys keep doing your thing. You keep doing your thing. The problem appears to be. Alright, that's happening. That pikeman is single handedly solving that problem. Take the gates down. Ooh, a bombard tower. That's a cool uh, art for that. Definitely a problem. Oh. Well. Hello, Kimo. so you are gold miners. So why don't you go to this cool looking gold mine? Also, we need that gold. Oh. So let's get over there. I'm oh, hello. Approaching. Let's be really annoying. Yeah. I'm gonna take the bombard tower out. Don't be silly. I now realize we didn't upgrade light cavalry to hussars and we still sent them into battle, so that was really dumb. Oh, castles to town center as well. You're gonna pop. I'm gonna pop, yep. Yep, we need more rams. Need more rams. It's okay. Super Titan and his men have arrived in the east. Alright. Can uh, Super Titan die? <laughs> Let's make you control group three. Um, yeah, just come back here and then monks come over here and heal them. Alright, we just need these guys to power up. That's okay. All of the saboteurs that have arrived go over there. Also, uh, your men kind of stink. Or at least their numbers aren't great. Another castle. Six. Now we're just waiting on the pipe to come out faster. Okay. All right. Well, while that's happening, ten. Ten. Double cast dominance thing we've got going on. Certainly a problem for them. One more. Right, the Rams are ready. Your control group three. This is the second group of Rams. Just come sprinting into that castle and like, just get them. Come over here and get a good heal in while just shooting what they're shooting at. Reserves for when things inevitably go wrong, and they will. Here they come, full speed ahead because we're the Mongols. Trying to blow up the Sancho River Tree. Whoa! What? I have no memory of that. What 
is the solution? I mean, I'm really happy that I built um, castles over here, but uh, what? I just realized something. Stop making, you're just pops now. You're just needless population. Oh, you're making trichets, you're making more cavalry. So if I didn't build these castles, which by the way could die and are being shot at, I just would have lost. Is that how this goes? happening take them out. Also, what is taking so long? What's the point of that wall? Oh, I gotta get just chopped past it. Okay, it makes sense. Outside the wall, doing kind of dumb stuff. So let's um, let's come over here. You guys, take that out. You guard. Oh, we can just walk through that now. Oh, don't shoot that. Shoot the people making it. Nice. Uh, we're looking for town centers and castles. What's happening now would suggest that there are more town centers and or castles. Whoa. Oh yeah, you gotta... Oh my gosh, I clicked on the farm and they packed up. It's infuriating. Ooh, look at all that stone back there. That's a town center. There you go. I don't remember. 
for the bridge collapsing? Did they do that because I built structures on the other side? Or does that happen and if it happens, you're just done? I'm curious on that, actually. Looks kind of nice. Such is the fate of oh, the nice. Hungarians and all who would oppose the tribes of Mongolia. Nice. I was a little worried. Man, the bridge part had me going good. Nothing stands between us and the Atlantic Ocean. The Mongol Empire comprises two whole continents. Europe and Asia belong to the hordes. Every place we have entered has changed forever with our passing. Russia, once filled with quarreling city-states, much like the old Mongol tribes, will forever be melded into a single gigantic empire. Genghis Khan forged the largest empire ever created in the life of one man. His body was carried back to the river Onon, where the legendary blue wolf and fallow doe once lived. He was buried in the ground, and a thousand horsemen rode over the site to disguise it. Genghis Khan's final resting place was devoured by the steppes. My people cherish the legend that their great ruler will one day return to lead his horsemen to another bloody victory. And there you have it. That was the Genghis Khan campaign, which is for... It's kind of sad, because this is my favorite Civ to play as in Age of Empires 2. They did leave out that uh, the original group of people that buried the Mongol king had to be killed so that they wouldn't tell anyone where uh, the body was buried. And then the people who killed the burial crew were also killed by another group of people who surprisingly didn't see it coming when the next group after them then killed them all in an effort to hide the resting place of Genghis Khan which I guess worked I don't remember if, if uh, archaeologists ever found it but that concludes part six and the entire Genghis Khan campaign please let me know in the comments below what did you think do you like the Civ do you like the all horses all horse archers and sprinting ram strategy let me know below as always don't forget to like the video and subscribe to see more Tomorrow I will be posting the cinematics of every single Genghis Khan storybook uh, video. And after that, we begin Salah Hadin's campaign with the Saracens. This has been Noxus Flack, and I will see you in the next one.